dangerous. This tree needed to come down before it fell over from a If you want to see me take down this big white oak tree right here, hit the like button at the bottom. If you don't hit the like button, you'll probably still get to watch it anyways. All right, guys, here's the white oak tree that we're going to be cutting. And uh, as I face it, as you can see, it's got a considerable lean to the right. It's leaning a lot toward the right side. But that's not where I want it to fall. I want it to fall straight ahead. So, uh, if my skill level is good enough here and things go right for me, I'll cut the, uh, the wedge and the face of it on the other side here. And I'll do the back cut. Or I might do a bore cut on this one. I'm not sure if I assess that when I get up there on it. And uh, hopefully I'll get it to fail where I want it. But uh, it'd be easy to follow if the way it's leaning. But that's where I drive through over here my little turnaround spot so I don't want it to fall right there so I'd rather have it fall straight ahead so let's see if we can get it to fall where we want it. Well I just made my notch cut in the face here as you can see this is not good news. I could tell it was hollow right when the saw went into it after I got through the sapwood. Hopefully it doesn't go up the whole entire tree here, but this is very dangerous. This tree needed to come down before it fell over from a windstorm. So now we're going to do our back cut and try to get it to go where I wanted it to go. It's going to be a little bit harder now with this middle, uh, with the middle being hollow, but I think I can get it there. But uh, I've cut a lot of oak trees up here, and this is the first time I've ran into this on any of them what you run into but hopefully it doesn't run the entire length of the tree Solid wood. Probably not the best wood in the world, but solid. We'll take it. 